Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we're here and this is going to be week number 6 of the UBL when we're up against Sven and his Uppsala Umbreon. And this is going to be a really, really tough week, but also our schedules have not been aligning that well and I am incredibly tired and I'm sure he is too, but I had to tear myself out of bed just to get to this match. But either way, we're going to get right into team preview. This match is, this team is going to be really, really fun to use and I'm really excited to see whatever happens. We do see the Alakazam, which is terrifying. It destroys my entire team. Blastoise, Heatran, Palisand... Skun Tank and um the thing. The bird. So right off the bat, uh there's no Indeedy. No Indeedy is very interesting. No Dragalgy. No Dragalgy actually blows me away. No Dragalgy really, really blows me away. Um No Rim Frost is mildly expected, but still a little bit surprising because my Exodol did do a lot, and I felt like that could be a possibility here. But most things here are pretty expected. I kind of want to just lead off with my slow king it makes as much sense as anything else in all honesty and this also makes a ton of sense to me but so does slow king okay but um but yeah just going another round through no bulu yeah okay everything kind of makes sense here uh what makes sense what makes sense what makes sense yeah, I kind of just want to do this. I really do need my HP on Slow King a decent amount. Um, this is a very, very fun Tornado set. Um, this this Gigalith is kind of just meant to not lose to Alakazam. Um, the Slow King is meant just to not lose to the Heatran. Dredagon is meant to not lose to the to the Zapdos. But then this combination of, of Vicavolt... And, and Cinderace is just kind of meant to be my own offensive core and just kind of meant to do... Uh, I forgot to take a screenshot of the team. But it's kind of meant to do everything that it needs to do. I'm going to get myself ready. Leads off with the Sandcastle, which is uh, not ideal for me. But it will be a little bit interesting for some options. I probably would have been better off leading off with Slowking. But I'm going to hurry up and do this. But no matter what, I think I just like U-turn every time. And I can just... Nope. Okay. Uh, I just click U-turn here and I kind of move on a little bit. I think um, the obvious thing would be to just U-turn out into Slow King. And then kind of take it from there. But yeah, I think that's what I do. I think that's just what I do. As, as for potential things to go into, there's always Blastoise. Let's just go for rocks. That's unfortunate. That's super unfortunate, especially since I don't think I have removal, but I don't also think it matters a whole ton um, for the kind of team that I'm trying to put together here. Do I not have removal? I think I might not have removal. Yeah, I think I don't. But uh, but like I said, it's not the biggest deal for kind of what I'm trying to do with, this, with the overall look of this team. Uh, we can do well over half with Scald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do get a burn, which is fun. Um, water Combat is not going to matter. This thing could stockpile like I have seen him do in the past. But yeah, we are we, we are conceived to take the Shadow Balm. And so this Palace Hand is really going to be uh, on its last legs in a bit. Um, I'm not going to be in a great position vis-a-vis -vis my Cinderace with Rocks Up, which is not great. But... Uh, I think I can just get off another Scald and be fine, question mark. Blastoise could come in. I could click Psy Shock just for that, but that's not really great with the Water Compaction thing. Uh, yeah, I think just Scald hits most of the team that I, that I need to hit. Um, Blastoise could come in, but if it does, then I teleport out and I manage it from there. And I think I get to where I need to be. But no Palace Hand is pretty big. No Palace Hand is pretty big. I get off a Scald and down goes Palace Hand, which is actually, actually huge for certain things on my team. I'd be very curious to see what comes in. But overall, I'm just kind of glad that the Kasib worked early on. I was honestly kind of worried that I'd never get this chance with Kasib. In comes this thing, and it makes me think that this thing is physical, which I kind of thought that it might be special, which is interesting now. I think I might go straight into this. 
Um... Yeah, I think I might just do this. I would expect a Dark Pulse? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Uh, he's gonna see that I a will take rocks. It was very toxic. Okay, that's fair. I'm gonna click U-turn right away. I probably should have just t teleported. The My sloping being toxic is never going to be a huge concern of mine. But... Uh, I really want to click Pyro Ball, honestly. It probably knows that I'm choiced because I took rocks. And it really makes me want to click Pyro Ball because I think he's he thinks that I would never click Pyro Ball with the heat train in the back. But I'm going to click U-Turn. I'm going to click U-Turn. I'm going to play it safe a little bit in the, in the earlier game and kind of try to take it from there. But actually, because of what I'm, because the Palisade went down so early, and because of what I'm seeing on, on the other side of the field, I kind of think that I can play a little bit, I don't want to say reckless, but I can play a little bit freer. Oh, good, it does withdraw. I can play a little bit freer with my Vigil Bolt, so I think next time I do see the Skun Tank, I can kind of, I can kind of uh, do some things with Vigil Bolt here. Goes into this thing. Uh, this will allow me to U-turn out. And I can go into Slow King, right? Slow King will let me teleport. And I'd, I'd honestly be curious to see if this thing has Taunt. Taunt is very viable against Slow King. However, however, um, I think every time I come in, yeah, it does go for toxic. I'd be curious to know if this thing is kind of toxic taunt to kind of trap, semi -ta trap this thing in. Um, but, but my skulls are overall kind of, uh, kind of uh, strong against this thing. I would imagine. And I honestly don't know what to go into now. Uh, I'll probably do this just to make him fear the fear the high jump kick. Yeah, I probably make him fear the high jump kick, and I, and I would you turn again. This is obviously bad because I'm taking a ton of damage, but I think I can force him to 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 make a mistake. I think I, I, I think I can force him to make a mistake in a way that no other real com. Okay, goes for protect. That's fine. That's fine. I should have expected it because it's Ven. I I've seen that he loves protect Heatran. But he's scouting out for he, he he knows that I'm choice in all likelihood, and he's scout. Oh, and I can't come in. I can't come back in on rocks. That is brutal. That is actually kind of brutal. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, man. But he's gonna let me turn out, and the Cinderace is kind of useless, which is it's terrible to me. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Okay. I kind of am disappointed. Actually, no, I do come back in on rocks once once again. Goes for a sub. That's fine. Sub protect. Oh my! It's sub protect toxic all the way down. Oh my god, Sven. Sven, Sven, Sven. I mean, I don't care. This looking is really just here for this and the palace hand, so I don't really care that much. But also, this is not enjoyable. Am I gonna get taunted next? Because this is because that would just make this thing maxfully not fun. It's not, it, 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 it's, it's not like it matters because I think at this point I just click, um, I just click scald until I KO myself. But Sven, what 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 are we doing here? Would he go for double protect? I think he would. No, he goes for body press. Okay, that's fair. Sven, Sven, Sven. Why why are we here? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? I think... I mean... I, I mean, again, I don't ever see this mattering unless... Unless this opens a door for me to completely lose to Blastoise, which is possible. But I do also think that it's never really something that I play with too, too much. 
because because uh, Blastoise would always have Dark Pulse and it would never kind of be profitable for me to, to, to try to wall off Blastoise with this thing. I think if I think of anything else, I kind of have to go out into out into Tornadus, which is begging me to get. And actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I don't think that ever that math ever checks out. I was gonna say maybe that means he train is slow enough that. That I can outspeed with with a Vigil Ball, but I can never outspeed it with a Vigil Ball. I think I have to do this. And hope that I don't get Flame Body. Or no, th 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 this thing is going to be... This thing is going to be... This thing is going to be Flash Fire. Can I pick it up with an item with an item holding acrobatics. Actually, yeah, I can't get toxic here. I can't. Tornadus. I can't pick this up with... Ugh, this sucks. Sven, why are you doing this? Like, I'm not saying it's not valid. It's just not fun, which is just as bad. <laughs> Let's me get off the superpower. It's going to make me waste this thing. Um, it's not necessarily wasted, but it's just not, not wasted. But I guess, realistically, this thing couldn't do everything that I, that I needed to because of the skun tank in the back. Which is fair, but just, again, not fun. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We, we might lose this because I didn't put enough consideration in, into how, into him kind of just stalling me out a bunch. But it's also just not fun to deal with. Um, but as far as things in the back, goes into this. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? This isn't what this is designed for, but Alakazam. I think I can use this just to break sub and be happy. Is it worth it here? If I am minus one, but but item goes away, I don't even break it down to sash, but it's fine because it would never matter anyway. Yeah, I can just click indoor here. I can just click indoor here. And then I can at least force this thing to break sash. And then from there we can we can do something and if nothing else like anything that wants to come in would take would have to take two really strong acrobatics unless it's the skun tank that that, that, that comes in in which case the things are different but by doing by by but by doing it this way it it um preserves my gigalith to be able to manage this thing later on in the game which is kind of where i want to be so, not all is lost, but I am too tired for this, in all honesty. I am very, very tired, and I did not kind of expect to be in this position. But yeah, we, we were never going to bring it down to Sash. That's fine. If it's not Sash, then I'll be mildly upset that things kind of happen in this way. But I honestly kind of want to go out into my Cinderace. Oh yeah, especially now that, especially now that Pyro Balls are free. It could invite in the Blastoise, but at that point, I mean, what's what's the difference anyway, right? Because at this point, um, at, th at this point, even if the Blastoise is pretty defensive and it, and it wants to come in, uh, the bigger takeaway here, maybe it's worth clicking low kick just for the Blastoise. Let me let me take a look at that. If it's a regular ass Blastoise. Would it be worth it if, if the Skun Tank comes in? Low Kick does... Oh, Pyro Ball does less than Low Kick. So in that case, it's definitely worth it just to click Pyro Ball, even if the Blastoise does come in. But does let this thing go down, which is very, very interesting. It does let this thing go down. 
Maybe he expected me to have Sucker Punch. Maybe. Maybe he was going for Recover or Crow Mine on that turn. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to find out later. But for right now, um, I don't know what I want to do here. I can kind of freely go out into Gigalith, especially now that... Because I've taken out the Sandcastle. Yeah, worst case scenario is it goes into Galar Zapdos, and in that case, I go directly into... Into... Dredagon. But yeah, and, but yeah, anything that's not the Sandcastle, and I'm in an okay position here. This match has not gone at all what I expected it to, but I mean, what am I what am I supposed to do when when you got a toxic protect uh thing? Uh I think I don't know, man. Is is it more worth it to just go for rocks for later on in the game? I think it's more worth it just to hit whatever's here. Um, yeah, Rock Blast does do a ton of damage. It hits everything on the team pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, Toxic doesn't matter even a little bit here because this thing is the most expendable one that I have left. Um, and before I completely lose to, to, to Blastoise, but for right now, I'm not the most concerned. And we get a ton of hits, which is dope. Hit four times and, and sand damage, so... It looks like we potentially do hit. Maybe. Who knows? We would have to get a lot of hits after this, but everything still checks out. I kind of want to get a rocks. I think he's... I think in my heart of hearts... No, that doesn't make sense. I don't think that makes sense. I think he just lets this thing ride out. Is it worth it to get rocks up instead of going for the damage? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. But it's super pro yeah, it just withdraws. It is super problematic. Okay. It is super problematic that the only things left on, on, on my side are kind of really slow. But that's honestly huge. Because it with all this recoil, it will mean that I think it I think it honestly KOs itself if if it just clicks close combat, right? Well, uh, let's see. Because if I just do this, I can glare on the following turn, which is great for me. If it clicks U-turn, it still takes a ton of recoil. Enough that I can't really switch into much after this. If it, I don't know, goes for bulk up, then I can glare. I think I should take any hit, and I, and I should be able to glare. If it clicks Brave Bird, then I think it just takes itself out. And... Yeah, we can go from there. If it switch, if it takes a hit and then switches out, then I can glare on the, on anything. Oh, Thunder's Kick is probably worst case scenario, actually. Thunder's Kick is probably worst case scenario. I don't take another one, unfortunately. However, this is still a very good amount of recoil. And I think, actually, yeah, if, if, if it hits me again, then, then it KOs itself. Which is actually a great moment to glare, because if, if he wants to preserve this thing... If he wants to preserve this thing, then some, then one of the remaining mons is going to get glared, and that is pretty great for me. Okay, goes for another Thunderous Kick, which I'm going to KO myself, but it's fine. It's totally, totally fine. And from here, I can go back out into Gigalith. If the, if the Blastoise comes in, if the Blastoise comes in, then I just hit it, and I hope that... Vickable can kind of pick up the slack. And I think Vickable should be able to pick up two, two, um, the, the remaining two KOs. It's, it's unfortunate that, that Sand is going to end soon. But I think as long as Gigalith gets one hit off, then I think Vickable will be able to pick up the slack. Um, and I think ultimately, yeah, this is, yeah, this is ultimately, oh, this is probably best case scenario in all honesty. Um, we will see. We will see. We will see. Uh, and honestly, if it's a slower Blastoise, then I might be able to outspeed it with Vigable, too. But, yeah, we can just kind of hit this thing. 
and then take it from there. Uh, I don't know how fast a no-speed skun tank is. Yeah. Oh, if we KO right now, that that would be. Re of course, we only get two hits. That's fine. But but um, but this thing is crunch, so that's probably as good as it could could have gone. Vicavolt never outspeeds this thing naturally, which is, uh, I guess best that I went into into this rather than going into Vicavolt. However, I think if it's a slow Blastoise, then I will outspeed it with Vicavolt. Uh, I will not. Okay, that's very fun. Okay, and by very fun I mean not fun at all. However, this thing will still be up, so it'll make it a little bit more difficult for the Blastoise to want to set up immediately. And then from there, it's just a one-on-one -on -one against Blastoise. And if it's a super offensive Blastoise, then maybe we maybe we pick up an Oko. I mean, we should pick up an Oko. If it's a max HP one, then we still pick up an, we still pick up an Oko. It, ha it would have to be Assault Vested to not let me pick up an Oko. And as long as we don't let this thing set up, I think I think if we let this thing lower its defenses, then honestly, Rock Blast might. I don't know. Probably not. No, it doesn't. It never picks up. Yeah. So if he if he saved this thing the entire time to be able to 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 shell smash right now, then yeah, I'd lose. All right. Ugh. Sven, why, why? I mean, I, I mean, I, I really don't mind losing. I don't. But if I have to lose to because I got toxic sold out and and certain things happen the way that they did, it's pretty unfun. That was a crit. That's fine. But yeah, I, I was just get KO'd by by a hit on on my big wall. Um, I don't think I could have done things any differently. I think honestly, everything that I did made the made off tool sense, and I think I think I played it as well as I could have, other than not having defog, I suppose. But man, 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 man. It's just not a great way to have had this thing, this end, really, I don't think. Um, but yeah, now at plus two, I never just take anything. It's close for a waterfall, which is interesting, right? Because it actually, I think, lets me take a hit better. Well, I, I don't think I ever take a hit because it's at plus two and I, and I have to take, and I have to come in on rocks. But I think waterfall is better for me, potentially. Uh, oh, I think I might take a waterfall. Oh, but that's, yeah, no, that's, that's assuming, oh, I still might take a waterfall. No, that's, never mind. I still might take a waterfall, but it's very dubious. He has a 75% chance to KO, I think. But there's nothing left to do but to just click Thunderbolt, and we'll see. I probably don't take this, but I might take it. I, I probably don't, but I might. I don't take it, yeah. It's a really rough way to lose because it was just not fun, right? Like, right, like, I, right, like it wasn't even a really particularly fun way to lose. Um, But, I mean, we deserved it, right? Uh, Things I could have brought different. I mean, I really don't think I would have done much differently. I would have done better to prevent rocks, right? Like, I think I'd literally win the game if I, if I, if I get rocks off the field, but then the team that I brought would have had to been vastly different, and it wouldn't have worked together quite as well as I needed it to, right? I think ultimately everything that I brought, everything that I did, I liked a ton, but again, just, man, man, it, it just wasn't fun to play. But that, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL, as well as more weeks of other things to come in the near future. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to again. Out.